Hello garden enthusiasts! Welcome back to the Hydro Haven channel. Today we're diving deep into the foundation of your garden's success, your soil. You can buy the fanciest seeds, invest in top-of-the-line tools, and follow watering schedules religiously, but if your soil is unhealthy, your garden will struggle. The good news? Your soil is speaking to you all the time. Let's learn how to listen to those signals and discover the powerful remedies that can transform your garden from struggling to thriving. The first unmistakable sign of unhealthy soil is when your plants simply refuse to thrive despite your dedicated care. You've watered properly, provided adequate sunlight, protected from pests, and yet your plants appear stunted, with yellowing leaves, weak stems, and minimal fruit production. This frustrating situation often leaves gardeners blaming themselves or searching for complicated solutions when the answer lies beneath their feet. When plants struggle universally across your garden, it's rarely about the plants themselves, it's about the soil that sustains them. Think of your soil as the plant's digestive system. If that system is compromised, no amount of external care can compensate. Plants in poor soil typically display stunted growth, with new leaves appearing smaller than they should. Leaf edges might brown prematurely, and overall the plant looks like it's aging too quickly. Flowering plants produce fewer blooms, and vegetables yield smaller harvests than expected. The subtle signs are even more telling. Look at the stems of your plants. In unhealthy soil they tend to be thinner and more brittle. Root systems remain shallow instead of developing deep, robust networks. And most critically, plants become dramatically more susceptible to disease and pests. When you notice these patterns across different plant varieties, it's a clear indicator that your soil needs attention. Sign number two, drainage issues, either too much or too little. The second sign manifests in how your soil interacts with water. Healthy soil strikes a perfect balance, retaining enough moisture to nourish plants while allowing excess water to drain away. When this balance is disrupted, your garden suffers. Take a walk through your garden after a decent rainfall. Do you notice puddles that persist for hours or even days? Or perhaps the opposite soil that appears bone dry shortly after watering? Both extremes signal unhealthy soil structure. To test this precisely, try the simple percolation test. Dig a hole about 12 inches deep and fill it with water. Let it drain completely, then refill it and time how quickly the water disappears. In healthy soil, water should drain at a rate of roughly 1 to 3 inches per hour. Significantly faster or slower rates indicate structural problems with your soil. Clay-heavy soil often holds water too long, depriving roots of oxygen and promoting root rot. Sandy soil conversely drains too quickly, washing away nutrients before plants can absorb them. Either way, your plants experience stress from inconsistent access to water and nutrients, leading to weakened overall health and reduced productivity. Sign number three, lack of soil life. Where have all the creatures gone? The third and perhaps most overlooked sign of soil distress is the absence of visible life. Healthy soil is teeming with biological activity. It's an underground ecosystem as complex as any rainforest. When this life disappears, your garden's entire foundation begins to crumble. Take a garden trowel and turn over some soil. In healthy environments, you should find earthworms within almost every shovelful. Their absence speaks volumes. Earthworms are nature's soil engineers, creating channels for water and air while converting organic matter into plant-available nutrients. Their disappearance signals a breakdown in your soil's ecosystem. Beyond worms, healthy soil hosts an astonishing diversity of life. Beneficial insects, fungi networks, and billions of microorganisms. These create the living infrastructure that supports plant growth. Signs of their absence include soil that appears lifeless, uniform in color, compacted and lacking the earthy smell of beneficial microbes. Healthy soil should have a pleasant, rich aroma reminiscent of a forest floor after rain. If your soil smells sour, stagnant, or has no smell at all, the biological community has been compromised. Revival method number one, composting, the soil's ultimate medicine. Now that we've identified the problems, let's explore the solutions, starting with the most powerful soil remedy compost. Often called black gold by experienced gardeners, quality compost represents the perfect package of soil nutrition and biological life. Compost works across multiple dimensions simultaneously. It introduces essential nutrients in forms that release slowly over time, preventing the feast or famine cycle that chemical fertilizers create. It improves soil structure, helping clay soils drain better, and sandy soils retain more moisture. 
Most importantly, it reintroduces the microbiological life that forms the foundation of soil health. Creating effective compost isn't complicated. Start by collecting green materials, nitrogen-rich items like vegetable scraps, grass clippings, and coffee grounds, and brown materials, carbon-rich items like dried leaves, shredded paper, and small twigs. Layer these materials in roughly equal amounts, ensure adequate moisture, about as damp as a wrung-out sponge, and let nature do the work. Turn occasionally to speed the process, and within months you'll have rich, dark compost ready to transform your garden. Apply compost as a 1 to 2 inch top dressing around existing plants and work it into the top few inches of soil when preparing new beds. For severely depleted soils, annual applications for several consecutive seasons may be necessary to fully restore health. Revival method number 2, cover cropping nature's soil engineers. The second method leverages plants themselves as healing tools for soil. Cover cropping represents one of the most efficient ways to rebuild soil structure add organic matter, and restore nutrient balance with minimal effort from the gardener. Cover crops are specific plants grown not for harvest, but for their soil-improving qualities. Legumes like clover, vetch, and field peas actually pull nitrogen from the air and convert it to soil-available forms through their root nodules. Deep-rooted crops like daikon radish act as living tillers, breaking up compacted soil layers. Grasses and cereal rye develop massive fibrous root systems that add organic matter and improve soil structure when they decompose. The beauty of cover crops lies in their simplicity. Scatter seeds in any bare garden areas during off-seasons, water until established, then let them grow. Before they set seed either cut them down and leave the residue as mulch or turn them lightly into the soil. The decomposing plant matter feeds soil life, adds organic material, and creates the perfect environment for your next crop of vegetables or flowers. Revival method number three, sheet mulching soil building without the work. Our final method is perhaps the most appealing for gardeners seeking maximum results with minimal effort. Sheet mulching, sometimes called lasagna gardening, mimics nature's soil building process but accelerates it dramatically. Start with a base layer of cardboard or several sheets of newspaper directly on the existing soil or even over grass. Wet this layer thoroughly. On top, alternate layers of nitrogen-rich materials like kitchen scraps, grass clippings, and manure with carbon-rich materials such as leaves, straw, and shredded paper. Aim for layers about 2 to 3 inches thick and build the entire structure 12 to 24 inches high, finishing with a top layer of finished compost or soil. The magic of sheet mulching is that it converts poor soil into a rich growing medium without digging or tilling. The cardboard suppresses weeds while decomposing, earthworms move up through the layers, creating channels, and the entire structure breaks down into incredibly fertile soil within months. For minimal effort, you create perfect growing conditions that continue improving over time. Your soil revival journey starts now. Remember, reviving soil isn't an overnight process, it's a relationship you build over seasons. Each of these methods contributes to rebuilding the complex ecosystem that supports thriving plants. You might not see dramatic changes immediately, but with consistency, your soil will transform into rich, living material that produces abundant harvest with progressively less effort from you. If you found these insights helpful on your gardening journey, please hit the subscribe button and share this video with fellow garden enthusiasts. Drop a comment below sharing your own soil revival experiences. I'd love to hear what's working in your garden. Until next time, this is Hydrohaven, helping you grow more with less work. Happy gardening.